Hello, Harriet Gordon, and today we're going to talk about the idea of distraction and what do we mean by that, how can it be helpful, um, what are some of the drawbacks. Um, so usually when I ask clients to tell me about what their either self-care routine is or what their relaxation skills include, um, I hear a lot of, well, I like to zone out and binge watch Netflix or you know scroll through Instagram or Facebook, etc which is fine. Um, we all kind of need that time to, to zone out and kind of not really think about much. Um, and TV and social media are great ways to do that. However, it's not exactly relaxing. It's not exactly nurturing yourself like with self-care. So what I think of distractions role is when we are not doing the productive work things, when we are not relating with other people, when we are doing in the process of continually, always doing the hard internal work of being self-reflective and what um, beliefs do I want to change, what beliefs are contributing to how I'm feeling, um, when we just kind of need a break from that. Oh, and relaxing and self-cares part of that first part, the hard internal work of actually um, being aware of those kinds of things. So when we just need a break, when we just need to kind of check out for a little bit, that's a great place for distraction. Oh, video games also is another great way to distract. Um, it's kind of like a little, a little rest from the hard work of just being a human being. When we tend to overuse it though, then those things that we want to work on or should work on, need to work on, it would serve us to work on. Um, I don't like to use should if I can help it. Um, it can really kind of put those things back burner. And if we don't get to working on them, then we will continually uh, not have the results that we want. So, I hope this helps you understand how helpful distraction can be, um, but it's also only one tool in the toolbox. We also could use quite a few others and actively work towards the life that we want. All right, thanks.